Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're talking about the RetroPie emulation station. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make your PlayStation 1 games look that little bit better. <laughs> So anyone that's tried the RetroPie system straight out the box, one of the things you'll notice is that the PlayStation games don't always run as smooth as you would like and they don't look that good at high resolutions. So it's just a few things that I've done to improve performance. Before we begin, all this has been done on the Raspberry Pi Model 3B. Now one of the first things you can do is to add BIOS files and you can find them with a quick simple Google search. And the recommended BIOS is SCPH-1001 for North America and SCPH-1000 for PAL, Europe. Once you've downloaded your BIOS files, you can copy and paste them into your RetroPie by simply typing backslash backslash RetroPie, clicking on the BIOS folder and pasting them in. Now this just adds stability to the emulation, games can run without the BIOS, but you will eventually run into bugs and glitches if you don't have the correct BIOS installed. And it's really easy to install them, so it seems a bit silly not to do it for a bit of extra stability. So to do the enhanced resolution hack, as you can see it's all blocking stuff, you press select and triangle. If you're using an Xbox controller, you press select and Y. If you're using a Nintendo controller, you press select and X. Which should bring up the quick menu, if it doesn't, just go to quick menu. Go down to options, and find enhanced resolution slow. Now it does say slow, but on the Raspberry Pi 3, it does work extremely well. Also, enhanced resolution speed hack, it sort of speaks for itself, it just speeds up the enhanced resolution hack. Press X again to come out and go up to resume, click resume, and as you can see it has smoothed out this game. It now looks like a PlayStation 4 game. So just for reference, here's what it looks like without the resolution hat. And here's gameplay with the resolution hat. Smooth, crisp, and clear. And the final one is a bit subjective, but I like it, I like the way it looks. If you press select and triangle again, go back to the main menu, go to settings, find video, and go down and find bilinear filtering. Turn that on. Let's use the texture filtering method, which tries to smooth out stretched out textures. Some people like it, some people don't. I'll let you decide on your own. Now that we're finished, you're going to want to save this configuration by pressing select and triangle again. Going back to the main menu, find configurations and clicking save current configuration. And then exit this menu by going back to quick menu, clicking resume and enjoy this silky smooth goodness to your PlayStation games. Your games will now run like butter on toast. And that's all I've got time for today. There are other ways you can make your games look better using shaders and whatnot, but these are the easiest ways to quickly enhance your PS1 experience on the RetroPie. If you've liked this video or if it's been helpful to you, then smash that like button or just throw a cheeky thumbs up at the screen and say, I like this video. Let me know in the comments what games you are going to play on your new console. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.
Everybody in Looney Tune Land, as well as Moron Mountain. Not. Ouch. For two. Monsters trail by two. Good evening, everybody in Looney Tune Land, as well as Moron Mountain. Jordan rocks the rim. For two. That ties the game. Beast, what's got you bounding about? Not a sentinel attack, I hope. Greetings, my web-slinging compatriot. Spider sense tingling. <laughs> Get him! Beast, what's got you bounding about? Not a sentinel attack, I hope. Greetings, my web Spider-Sense tingling! <laughs> <laughs> 